Hey friends, welcome to my channel and this is the 11th video of VMware VCP 5.5 vSphere training and in this video I am going to show you how to install virtual machine on vSphere or ESX i 5.5 so my domain environment I am using the same thing which is I have used in previous win video my first uh, Win2K8 DC01 which is my Active Directory server if you want to check out here is my Active Directory server I have installed Active Directory and DNS role on this server and second my vCenter server I have installed vCenter server on this machine if you want to check here is my vCenter I have installed vCenter and I have logged in my vCenter infrastructure by using VI vSphere client uh, I have uh, two ESX host ESX01 and ESX02 you can see I have connected with the, my both ESX host ESX01 and ESX02 via v, v spare client and I have a star when virtual send which is running on my physical machine and here you can see this is my star when running on my physical machine and I have attached the two lens with my both the ASX source by by using the multiple connections so we have multi multi access like two access for each node uh, for the each drive so we have two access two access for my drive first drive uh, for ESX1 we have two connection and ESX, uh, ESX2 we have two connections so this is the scenario and now I'm going to create one uh, create one virtual machine on my ASX host and let's start with the installation so I'm going to install create one machine you can see learn one is learn to both learn is connected with my both the ASX learn 0 and learn 1 and same on ESX one you can see learn zero and learn one is connected on a both servers so I'm going to click here on my ASX zero two new virtual machine and here we have we have a custom option if you can see on custom we have few other option like in typical we have some less options so I'm going with the custom option to show you all the options here so click next and type the name win2k8r2 which is my machine virtual machine name and location I have one data center only India so let's go with the India and this is showing the learn where we, we have to store the virtual machine selected destination is storage for virtual machines files so I'm going to store my virtual machine on learn 0 you can see the free space of level on 99 GB so good to go click next and here we have a virtual machine version so you can see a Microsoft uh, v VMware provides some backward compatibility as well as like you can see the virtual machine version 4 which can run on ESX up to ESX 3.5 virtual machine 7 which can run to up to 4.1 and we have like virtual machine 8 this virtual machine can run on VMware 5 uh, ESX 5.5 or later so this is go uh, we are going to create a virtual machine version 8 because we are uh, running uh, VMware ESX 5.5 so click next and here is the operating system so we have uh, like uh, all the Microsoft operating system for till now which is the latest one is Windows 2012 to MS-DOS terminal uh, and we have also 95, 91 supported so I am going to if you want to install the Linux operating system you have all the var various uh, flavor of Linux, Red Hat, SOS, and CentOS, everything. Ubuntu, you can also install the generic Linux for like, you know, generic li Linux, which is based on kernel uh, 2.6.x. So, others we have uh, some Mac operating system, IBM OS2, Novel Netware, Sun Microsystem, Solaris, everything here. So, I'm going with the Windows for now and Windows Server 2012 28 R2 64-bit so good to go click next and we have a number of virtual socket I'm going to use two socket and number of the core per socket I'm going to define two so we have total number of core four and let's go click next and here I'm going to provide my memory 1 GB for this machine you can add the multiple NIC on your v uh, VMware virtual machine so I'm going to use just one nick here so click next 
and if you have multiple network uh, NIC available on vCenter server you can identify it from here so um, I have only one which is our uh, management network so good to go click next and we have option for high controller leave it default for now and we have a hard drive option create a new hard disk use existing or don't create hard disk right now so I am going to create a new virtual hard drive right now click next here is the option this size if you want you can change it or the location of the drive store the virtual machine store with the virtual machine so it will contain the your hard drive with the same a same folder which you have created the virtual machine or you can specify the data you store as well as so I'm going to create it with leave it with the same same virtual machine folder so click next and we have advanced option I'm not going to do anything here if required we can do it later on so virtual device click next and here we have all the things ready I think there was nothing to do however I have to here edit the virtual machine setting before completion continue and you can see RAM you can see the CPU everything is there so I just want to uh, modify some information here data store ISO file to boot this machine from ISO image which I have already copied in my last video we have ISO image and we have Windows Server 28 2008 R2 and we need to select connect on power on I click finish so you can see here virtual machine is running now it's creating the virtual machine so copying the virtual machine configuration here you can see it's creating the virtual machine and then meanwhile I want to show you learn zero browse it so you can see the here you can see create virtual machine task is completed we have folder on our learn zero which all the VMX file which is basically virtual machine and we have a file for our virtual hard disk which is associated with this virtual machine you can see the file size is 80 GB so 80 GB hard drive virtual hard drive we close it and I am going to connect it this virtual machine by console so open a console so power on this virtual machine just click on play button so you can see powering on virtual machine so after the power on this virtual machine you can see this machine is booted from like ISO image which we have just mounted in our, our newly created virtual machine here you can see machine is loading Microsoft Corporation so machine is booted from our ISO image So the same traditional window. Welcome to Windows Server uh, 2008 R2. So click next. Install now. Setup is just starting. So here I am going to install Windows Server Data Center Edition with the full not a code. So looks good. Just click on next. So click next. I accept the license term. Click next. And custom option we have a 40 GB hard drive which we have created for this virtual machine and click on next and you can see here the installation is started so once the installation done I will be back with the further recording and will explain you further things so expanding windows file is almost 97 percent done so just it will take few more minutes to get the installation done for first our first virtual machine 
so just waiting for white so expanding windows file is done now it's going to installing features here you can see it's done installing update Installing update is also done, so it's now completing the installation. And so we will reboot. So here is the thing I am going to reboot, restart now. So virtual machine is rebooted. So the installation is just still going on. It's required one more reboot for for this virtual machine. We we'll just give it a few more minutes. So the installation is done. We are about to reset the password for the virtual machine. So I click OK and I'm going to set my password for administrator account. So I did enter. So changing password, your password has been changed. So looks good. It's preparing your desktop now. And here we are, we have logged in successfully and now you can see my mouse is not working properly and virtual machine. So uh, we need to install uh, like virtual machine vm tools so i'm going to click on v watch vm and under the guest install or upgrade vm tools click ok so it will mount the iso file of the vm tool in our c drive so go there and install the vm tools here you can see vm tool is mounted and just double click on it So just love few seconds. So welcome to the installation wizard of VM tools. Click on next. It's a very simple installation. Just next, next, finish. So click on next typical install so it's installing the VM tools now in the meanwhile it's required to reboot so I'm going to do one more thing I'm going to re rename my like machine first I'm going to configure one IP address here on my for my virtual machine go to properties and disable IPv6 enable IPv4 and going to protect like IP address here you can see 192.168.1.248 and leave with the default gateway I don't require the default gateway because I'm not going to connect this machine with the internet and my DNS prefer DNS so everything done click on OK close it and close it I can see I think VM tool is installation is fairness so click on fairness and just Going to reset my computer, rename my computer account name as well as so type here, click here. And rename it win to K8 R2. So I have done the basic tasks like rename the computer, configuring the IP address and installing the VM tool for this virtual machine. 
so everything done so just go and reboot this machine finally so restart now So now you can see my mouse is working perfectly fine with this virtual machine after installing the VM tools. So everything done and if you want to join this machine in domain you can go ahead and join this virtual machine in domain. Just want to show you it's accessible reachable for my domain controller 254 here you can see so here you can see it's reachable it's reaching my domain control and if you if I want to join this machine in domain just go ahead and join so the thing we are doing the installation of first virtual machine on our infrastructure or VMware or ESX 5.5 so we are done with this thank you for watching please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any question any, uh, any query related to this please post me on my given mail ID thank you once again bye bye